you know about Jupiter? Put your hands up if you know something about Jupiter. Particularly in a school like this, which is a school for pupils with special educational needs, education can be a very isolated experience. So ICT has provided vehicles which open up learning for our pupils. Computers take you places you never thought you'd go. The tram ride was an environmental studies topic focusing on the 1950s in the Gorbals. We are the yo -yo I decided to use drama to bring the 1950s to life for the children. The technology allowed the children to be far more independent. Michael, for example, was able to change the backdrops just by the click of a mouse. And we were able to provide the music from the 50s by downloading music from the internet. And we were also able to record the performance and the children were able to look at the recording and reflect on their own performance. We are we, yeah, and it doesn't stop here. Everybody in all Glasgow schools gets included. Now we do English, English maths, maths, IT, Plato, Plato, Plato Match Sticks, Monopoly. Monopoly. Mm -hmm. The Alpha is a group that was set up to look after boys and girls who really couldn't be contained within the mainstream class. They were either being kicked out of the school, suspended, in trouble, and what we've done is, in most cases, we've put them on a part-time timetable. Without the computers, we really couldn't survive in here. The, the computers are the big carrot. The kids love working on them. And we set up a separate programme for them. We can individualise the programme to their own needs. The technology has been a bonus. It has brought them in. It has made them want to come. Right. Go back up the page and let me have a look. Well, we now think it's been keeping us out of trouble in the streets and in school and in the house and like, in community places and that. So it's kind of changed. What's the second highest number there? Flexible Learning is an initiative which is jointly funded by Scottish Power and by Glasgow City Council. The purpose of the initiative is to increase the amount of people that can access learning through technology. It's very much based on a range of technological packages which both pupils, staff and the local community can access in one room. An example of how well it can work is we have a girl whose first language is Russian and we're able now to present her for higher Russian through links by email to a tutor in, a, in another school who can then feed back to her on her work. Computers are a powerful tool right across the curriculum. We've had a range of different success stories through Plato, which is an individualised learning system. We now have pupils in first and second year who can access maths and English at their own level and develop at their own speed and their own pace. Right, you're on to um, division now, Amanda. Okay. okay, see if you can get your 80% score to pass this one, all right? I think Plato is really good because if you don't understand anything then you can put the earphones on and it will take you through each step slowly so that it will help you to understand what you're doing. Okay, today's lesson is all about money matters. If you want to take down the heading just now, money matters. The technology in the school is a great help to the pupils in their learning. For example, PowerPoint eh, in a lesson for maths, it motivates them. It clarifies graphs as well. Kids love it. They can have things whooshing in, whooshing out, making sounds. And it makes it more exciting for the kids and they want to learn more. Yeah, what would determine how much you would pay at the end of the, the quarter? One thing. If you've made a presentation on a specific topic, for staff it's great because you save it on a disc and you use it again next year. And it's the same lesson so you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. The music higher on the QBasic on the computer, it helps me a lot for my hire because it means it's easier to put tracks on and drum tracks and songs and edit and delete stuff instead of the bits of paper and scores and stuff that you have to send away. So. It's a lot easier and a lot tidier, and it's more fun as well. Can you have a look at your poem again, children? And look particularly for nouns this time. And when you think you know one, can you put your hand up and we'll have somebody coming out to underline a noun for us? Samantha, can you come out? A smart board, again, the appearance of it is an attraction to the children. It's brightly coloured. They can interact with it very, very easily. There's a lot of scope for the use of the smart board. If you're doing a language lesson, a story writing lesson, they can get instantly get there. results. Can you put 
old in there for me. That's a clever girl. Let's take your time. Old. Can we spell that while she's doing it, do you think? O -L, -L, -E. o L. Oh, that's very good. Well done. have some idea about the big things happening in Glasgow schools. Thank you for watching and let's finish with a few more comments from the people who are making it happen. The main priority is to raise standards in Glasgow schools so that we can make the learning experience more exciting, more relevant, uh, more up to date. It's exciting to come to school now that you've got the computers there because before it was just a bit boring. I think it's just expanding the whole accessibility of ICT for young people. We have to build up the level of equipment we have in schools. We've got to try, I think, and get young people to have their own little computer they can use day in, day out, in school, at home. You can like do your work and stuff and go onto the internet sometimes when you're at home. We're building up the resources where people can go and access and the most modern of teaching materials. You can visit other sites worldwide, but you do it in a very protected environment. Certain words are censored, and if they find them on websites, then you can't go into them. But that isn't very good sometimes, because you can't look up Sex Pistols pages. Because it's all in one big network, there's a group of technicians set at the centre, and they can manage the whole service 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year. And so it's managed so that teachers are free to go on and use the technology for learning and teaching. Pupils are eager to learn, the staff are eager to teach because it's simple, it's easy, anyone can do it really, and a happy pupil and a happy staff makes for a happy school.